Hi, this is Tutor Nick B, and this is Quote 60. Quote today is by Lord Acton. Uh, he was a British politician, lived about 100 years ago or so. But this quote, I hear this quote a lot, it comes up a lot, uh, where people say, uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So by its nature, power uh, can corrupt you, you know, turn you into kind of an evil person or to do things that you wouldn't normally do. But absolute power, meaning the more power you got, can corrupt you even more. That's why, uh, you know, we often see this with dictators, uh, that they, they become even worse because they have too, almost way too much power. So anyway, let's, let's go on. Let's take a look at the note. So this quote basically warns you of the dangers of power. Uh, there has been many a good man corrupted after receiving power. Yes, I'm some people may have had good intentions to begin with to get in. They really wanted to help the people. But then once they got there, because of the situation or maybe other people that maybe helped them get along, special interests or whatever, uh, once they're there, they become corrupted. Uh, all right, let's continue. Um, yes, many men will become corrupt trying to hold on to power. So not only, you know, once you get in there, but you know, trying to hold on to it. You may do things that you never would have thought you might have done before. Uh, power. And you must be strong enough not to let it overtake you or overwhelm you, to consume you. Uh, yes. This theme was touched upon in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. You know, that movie, you know, with the ring. The ring made them more powerful. But the longer they kept it, you know, <laughs> the more the evil kind of took over them. So that, that's kind of the idea. Uh, all right, and we can look at it, even George Washington. This is the whole reason why we have just two terms in the U.S. Uh, George Washington purposely stopped at two terms, also because of the same sort of idea. Uh, I kind of remember in history, uh, like a King George at the time didn't think that George Washington would do something like this, that he would ever just give up his power. So, well, anyway, I hope you got it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.